It's a drive to the ancient town of Bani community in Kana, local government area of River State. The traditional music of the people plays in the background, reminiscent of their culture. The locals are mostly farmers, while some rare livestock and the youth, men and women, choose on this day to remember one man they considered to be their hero, the late writer and environmentalist Ken Sarawiwa and eight others who were convicted by a military tribunal for alleged murder and hanged. His grave has become a mecca of some sort. They even have a sculpture of what is known as the Ogoni Nine. And in his country home, the people and family members still mourn the late founder of the movement for the emancipation of the Goni people. The Goni one day died. What was left was for us living, those who are living, to actualize it. Nobody has a shadow to come and take oil. Or a friend to come and take oil. Say, so come and take the oil, but first, discover the people. Beyond mourning, the people take their appeal to the Court of Appeal, singing and dancing to drive on their demand. Let the court set aside the judgment of 1995 that led to the death of Ken Saronua. Because one, that judgment was given wrongly, and we believe that setting aside of that judgment will be what Ugoni people and the new Niger Delta and Nigeria will be happy. While the people hope that their case will be heard, they also look forward to justice on the pollution of the environment by oil companies.